Yeah, I yeah I agree with that, and that's what that, that's probably a, that's a big question I get on my YouTube channel and in my Discord server. A lot of people are wanting to get into hardware hacking, and especially especially if they watch a video like mine, they're like, "Oh, you have like all this expensive top tier equipment back here behind me." And if if you see that as the only image, then you're like, "I can't I can't afford that. I can't get into it." And so, what I always encourage people to do is to find a simple target to hack on like maybe you just go to goodwill or another thrift store and you find some old wi-fi router and then you start taking it apart and you start trying to learn more about that system that device and then only when you encounter a problem that you need a tool to solve then you and go and acquire that tool and you kind of do it bit by bit like that. And you don't need to buy the most expensive tools at first. There are lots of cheap options for tooling. But the way I learned is that that's, that's kind of how I learned. And there, then there's some blogs out there where people will write up, you know, hey, this is how I took apart this device and I found this vulnerability or I dumped the firmware. And you can just go try to replicate. So, so the first thing I would suggest to people is find some, something cool that you saw, whether it's in a YouTube video or a blog, and just try to replicate what they did. And that will give you a lot of hands-on experience with the tooling and hands-on soldering that, that you might need to do. Very cool. 